students go through this process end to end, from ideation to refining that idea, to working on design all the way to building it, and then actually presenting that to various audiences, including their mentors. It is wonderful to see young people grow in their ability to imagine futures that they couldn't see at the start. This is real life that they're experiencing here, but they're doing it in a safe space where they have mentors and teachers and it's okay to fail. It kind of helps them understand that they can do this work, they can be a part of the movement that's happening in STEM. We are able to give our students real world experiences with industry partners. It gives them networking opportunities that they wouldn't otherwise have. It gives you the opportunity to actually go out into the real world and interview and get like the real life experience of actually working. They can see why they have to learn how to communicate. They can see how their education up to this point can be applied in the real world. I think no matter who you are, uh, we, we've always got something to teach and something to learn. The mentors really enjoy working with the students, which makes the biggest impact. I think more of these programs need to be established. A lot of students don't know what the actual STEM fields entail. They can see exactly what type of roles that there are available outside of what a textbook tells you. My students connect with the project and they want to go on from it. And I have one student that recently graduated from college and is actually working for Motorola. The pandemic and the stay at home orders have forced us to come up with ways to communicate differently. ISTI is working with a number of the teams to do a virtual showcase. Students, thank you all for being here today and being willing to kind of share in the process that you all have worked on over the past couple months. Your mentors are on, they're excited to give you feedback and just hear and celebrate the work that you've all been doing. After the STEM kickoff, we were able to narrow our focus and decided to continue our research. I like the fact that you've gone out and talked to customers. You've looked at potential suppliers. So what we wanted to do was find a way to filter water at home. We wanted something that would be applicable in areas with low infrastructure. Our proposed solution to this issue of a conglomerate of students moving from point A to point B is an application in the style of, say, Google Maps. Our app is going to be like for anyone, like even with disabilities. So like if you can't speak nor hear this chat feature. The work that you have put in this, it fills my heart that none of you thought of something to do for just yourself. All of your projects were for the community. This concept of being stronger than your struggles, it, it extends far past the classroom and we are living it right now. It's very inspiring and like it gets you determined to work even harder and to work with your teammates. I have to think more outside of the box, so I have to get out of my comfort zone. It taught me to not be afraid of change because, you know, as we go along, you know, we're gifted with uh, adaptation. This is kind of an example of how we continue to push through and we'll come out better on the other side.